Hi guys, my name is Sabrina and welcome back to my channel. So today I've got something a little bit different, but first of all, let me say I'm sorry for the background noise. My 3D printer is on right now and it's in a very long print, so I don't think I should like pause it or anything because that never ends well for me. Um, I don't know why, but it's a very cheap printer, so it might sound a little sick as well. Yeah, just so you know that the background noise is just that's my 3D printer. But I wanted to show you guys what I've made for this week. So for this week, I wanted to do something with Stranger Things. As you might or might know, I don't know if you watch Stranger Things, but if you do, season three has just ended and I really enjoyed watching it. So I really wanted to make a drawing featuring Stranger Things today. So what I did is I went to my iPad and I made the line art there. So that's not something I usually do. Usually I've got like my sketchbook, but today I was like, no, I want to start practicing like my digital line art as well and see if I can get better at that. And it's got, it's definitely got its pluses. Absolutely, I loved it. And you can see how clean the lines all came out. It's really nice. I'm really, I'm really happy with it. And let me show you guys the line art process first and then we go on to the coloring. So it's only a few minutes because the video of the line art is pretty, pretty fast. So there you go. So enjoy watching and I'll explain what I'm doing while you see the video. So I started out with making a sketch on my iPad this time. And in order to make the sketch as accurate as possible I had to get a reference because this is based of an actual character in a TV show and I wanted to make sure I had the right reference for it so I went to Google our best friend and I got a reference for Eleven from season 3 of Stranger Things so I based my drawing off of that and I started out with this sketch as I said so I really wanted to get the pose right I did not want to have the exact pose as in the references that I had so I kind of mixed a few things together so I started out with her head and I always start with the circle and then build from there and I wanted to have her have like the really angry eyes that she's got on those posters as well and that she got a lot in the show whenever she's using her powers and I wanted her hair to go half up with the yellow little scrunchy that she's got in her hair and I wanted her hair at the bottom to really flow out as in as if it was in motion with using these powers so that's what I went for here so I started out with that and then I did all the sh the shoulder areas and then the chest and the arms for me are always the hardest and the hands so I was kind of reluctant to start with that for some reason I don't know it's not scared but you're kind of scared to start drawing on it even though you can undo everything you need like you can work on layers you won't mix up anything like you're grand but once that was done with the sketch and it was pretty clear where the line should be I went ahead and I lined everything in now I did line the background of the things behind her arms and behind the coke can as well and you'll see me later on erasing the areas that are not supposed to be there and that's the benefit of working with different layers you can just erase what you don't need and it won't affect the drawing so much and with the coke can as well i had a reference for that for a crushed coke can and I kind of use that as a reference for this one here. So you can see me putting the final touches on the line art here. And once this is done, I needed to go print it. So I put in my paper. I'm using a special blending card. I don't know what the name is. It's buried underneath some other stuff right now. But I went ahead and put that in and printed it out. And I actually gave some of the spares to neighborhood kids because we had a neighborhood barbecue. So that was lovely and nice. And they were happy with the drawings as well. So they could color everything in. So once that is done, I am starting with my Copic markers on the blending card. And one downside of this blending card is that it comes up with white specks when everything, especially when everything is dry, you get to see all the white specks that are coming up. And I think that it's just the paper. And when I went back on this, it felt different than my sketchbook. I've done so many sketchbook drawings that working on this blending card just felt so different. Not in a bad way, um, in actually quite a good way as well. And the thing that I really liked as well is with the sketchbook, you still have so many papers that you have to do 
or often what I do is I fold over my sketchbook so that you can't see like the drawing coming out of the other side because it bleeds through a lot in my sketchbook. So yeah, you have like a really thick base that you need to work, work on so your hand is always a bit lifted. And with this drawing paper, it wasn't. I could just work on my actual desk. Now I did put in an extra card behind this one because I did not want to have any marker on my desk. They're so hard to clean off the desk. It's not even funny when it goes on there. It kind of messes everything up. Not that my desk looks one solid color anyway, especially with my mouse mat. It's just ridiculous. I don't even know how. Don't even get me started. But anyway, I started with the skin color as I kind of always do. And I really, really like this kind of skin color that I've been using. So I think this is one of my favorite skin colors right now. Um, it gives like a bit of warmth to the skin there. It doesn't make the character too pale. Obviously when you're drawing from an actual pale character, you have to use that color. But for this, I was like, no, I'm just going in with this one because that's what I like. And it still looks like her anyway. So it's the line art that counts. So once that is done, I did forget a small little area underneath the Coke can, but I'm fixing that later. I'm putting in the color later on in the drawing. And I worked on her eyes and just put a bit of gray in her eyes as well and give some more contrast to it. And for her hair, I wasn't quite sure which color to use. So that's why you just saw me with like my overview of all my colors that I've got. So I've got quite a few, but I feel sometimes it's just not enough. So I had to pick colors that I liked and they were kind of similar to her actual hair color as well. So it might not be 100% accurate. So I've used my artistic interpretation for this, I suppose, but it's, it's close enough. So that's what I went ahead and I colored all the hair in. And for the, for the hair, I always start with the lightest color, as you guys know, and then I put in the medium color and then go in with the darkest color. And I did that throughout the whole hair. So I'll let you guys see how I've done the rest of the hair and I'll come back to you after.
So the hair took quite a bit of time. I wanted to make sure it was done as good as possible. And because I haven't used this card for so long, I had to get used to using it again, I suppose. But I went ahead and colored in the scrunchie as well. Now I did not have a lot of yellow colors and I know hers is very yellow. I think mine is a bit paler, but it gives her a nice contrast in her hair as well. You can see it's an actual scrunchie. It doesn't blend in. So I started with like the lightest yellow I've got, which is Y00. And then I went in with, I believe is Y08. So that's what I used for like the darker areas there. And after that, I went ahead and colored in her shirt. Now her shirt is taking quite a bit of time as well. And that is because I put in, like when you look at 11 shirts in screenshots or the series or just Google 11 season three Stranger Things, and then you'll see that her shirt has got like a really splashy paint pattern on it for this shirt. And that's what I was trying to mimic. And it was quite a challenge to make sure that everything was done neatly and it just took a lot of time and I had to be very careful and slow and I can be very impatient sometimes. So sometimes I just want to get things done fast and this was definitely one of the things that I should not do fast. So I did take my time with this and I went ahead with a darker gray color. I believe it was C8. And I went for the cool colors because I felt like the blue was more on the cooler range than a neutral. I don't have warm grays. I wish I did. They would be so nice, especially with like browns and everything. You can just mix everything together and it would look amazing. I just don't have them yet. I need to go buy them or I need to go and ask them for Christmas presents or something. But sure, I went ahead with the cool because I thought that would be the best option anyway. And went ahead and colored everything in and with the cool gray, I made sure that there were a bit of shadowy areas in there as well. So that was pretty much what I did for this section. And now for the fun bit, I got to color in the specks on her shirt. I got to go in with a lot of different shades of blue and pink. Well, they're not a lot of different shades, but like I got to go in with like the blues and the pinks and stuff. And you can see the markers on the left side as well. One is a bit more on the purple shade. It's a bit more darker. It's like a purpley blue, it's blue violet. And yeah, this is where I felt a little bit less restricted because I just had done that really big area of blue and I think the contrast with the blue with her hair and everything it really suits it it comes together nicely and I really really enjoy how this looks and I colored in her straps as well I don't I don't know what they're called <laughs> let me know below in the comments if you know what they're called I just can't think of the word of what they're called right now that's the downside of not being a native English speaker I suppose but I colored that in as well and I tried to give it some pattern to it So 
so we're nearing the end of the video guys i really hope that you enjoyed this video i enjoyed making it i enjoyed the process on the ipad to make the line art as good as possible now one thing with the line art on the ipad is that it seems to take me a bit longer to complete it this took me two a little over two and a half hours to complete just the line art i want to make sure it was as good as possible so that was taking quite some time and yeah like i have nothing not i have not much more to say about this this piece i like it i like how her eyes look it's a bit more anime kind of style with the eyes it's not what i usually do for the eyes which is okay as well but i really wanted it to portray how she looks and the glare she was giving so that's what i was trying to get out of that and that is i think why i didn't really go in for the the eye style that i usually do and it's something i need to practice to stay consistent with what i'm doing so i know for my next drawing after this as well is that the eyes have like a similar kind of look to them and that's just how they turned out so this is it guys, the end of my drawing. I'm just finishing in the Coke can here. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you like this video, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below. That would really, really help me out you guys. And I'd say thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks, bye.